Om Shanti, we are going to talk about the 19th of May, our Godly Blessing with Supreme Godfather in today's spiritual guidance of four pages. As mentioned that we need to become like angels who are detached from possessions, from our body and our bodily relationships. What is the benefit of that? We are going to understand that in a bit. So Godfather says in the heading, May you be an angel who is liberated in life by remaining free from any bondage of your body, bodily relations, or possessions. So an angel means one who doesn't have any connection of attachment with the old world and old body. Old world means from the time there was heaven on earth, now we are in hell on earth. So golden age, silver age, copper age, and now we are in the iron age, in which everything gets more and more difficult. Relationships are difficult. Finances are difficult. Everything is difficult in today's world. So God says, this is an old world where everything is perishable. Things are there for a certain period of time. They're new and then they get old. And if you have any attachments to these things of the old world, the old habits, if you're taking pleasures, from this old world then they are temporary limited pressure pleasures and that is where God says be liberated in life while being in this body from the old world attractions and attachments of the old world and an old body so if we have a lot of expectations from our old body we are trying hard to keep it healthy but we know that it's going to get get aged very soon the beauty of the body is going to go away very soon and if you have got any expectation when sudden diseases sudden problems come over god says if you have attachment to your old body also that also brings a lot of sorrow and you can't become like an angel you'll be heavier in your mind so the body does have a connection with the soul till the time the soul is there within the body it has a connection but not a connection of attachment we need to leave this body to there's no guarantee of even a second over here in this Iron Age world that we're going to survive in this body for the next morning. We're going to get up in this physical costume the next morning. So to come into a relationship of karma with the physical organs, the five senses, is a different matter from having a karmic bondage. So I can look at somebody with anger with these eyes I can speak out in a harsh, sharp manner from my mouth and I can hear negative things about other people and become happy. I can be very glad if somebody is falling down in their life financially or in any other way. And I can create a bondage of this karma with that soul, with the environment around me, with people around me. And God says that you have to come into karma with this body as a soul. But then don't be into a karmic bondage by creating those kind of negative impure actions. An angel means one who is free from any bondage of karma while performing actions through this body. Neither bondage of the body. That means one would not want or desire anything in return of benefits for bodily contentment or bodily gifts. Gifts for the body. Accolades for the body bondage of bodily relations bondage of bodily relations so when we are performing our actions and we create bondage of bodily relation that means we tie ourselves up with certain people with certain kind of clan or a sect and we believe that my status is dependent upon who i am connected with instead of who i am actually then there's a bodily bondage of relations. Some people, they tie their name with somebody. They say, I know this person. I know so-and-so person so well. And God says that that is also a subtle bondage because you're relying on the attachment to knowing somebody, connecting to somebody. And when you're doing so, your own level of self-esteem, self-prestige, doesn't actually depend upon that person who you know a person of influence a person of position a person of power and those bodily relationships 
could be your own family members who are in a great position and God says even attachment to that is a bondage not possessions of the body so any action which we perform and we create a bondage on the basis of the possessions of the body if I have got wealth if I have got financial power if I have got any kind of position like a building or a flat or land and if I create any kind of bondage of this is mine an attachment to these things as mine then it is becoming a bondage and we feel heavier if anything happens to it we feel that attachment giving us pain and suffering so God says that's why he says that I need to protect you my children and stop having any bondages so those who remain free from bondage in this way are angels who are liberated in life in one second you leave your body and all that position all those bodily relations all those different attachments to your own body are gone in a second so do we realize that or we are fighting for I me and mine that is what God is teaching us on a daily basis how do we reach that level is when we are connected to God for our love for our peace for our for our contentment for our happiness on a daily basis that's what we do in meditation we try to tie our bondages sweet bondages with God and liberate ourselves from these worldly bondages how do you do that is what you learn at Brahma Kumaris with this Om Shanti